difference between the naat and perhaps a concert of some sort. And that's a tragedy because naat is something amazing and so sacred. I remember I asked my teacher Qibla Hazrat Sahib, they're reciting naat shrif to music and making it sound like songs. And the, the claim is, they say that it is better for people to listen to this than to listen to songs from Bollywood movies or from pop music. And so they're providing an alternative. People from Bollywood movies or from pop music. And so they're providing an alternative. People who are used to listening to that kind of thing, it's a good alternative for them. And the answer that he gave to me is one for us to take on board, I think, and reflect upon. He said that the claim is fair enough but the proof of that claim will be judged from the ground reality those people who are listening to this kind of now ground reality those people who are listening to this kind of naat which is like a commercialized form of naat if those people are then becoming more practicing as muslims as a result of listening to it then we can say that there is some substance to that claim and if those people are listening to that only to satisfy the ego you know that i don't know what they call it ear candy if it's just ear candy say that there is some substance to that claim and if those people are listening to that only to satisfy the ego you know that i don't know what they call it ear candy if it's just ear candy to them if it's just to satisfy the ego then there is no substance to that claim whatsoever. Marte dambi ya Rasool Allah ka nara lagayenge aur dunia se ruksat honge aur khuld mein hoga humara daakhila is chan se ya Rasool Allah ka nara lagate jayenge nara risalat ya Rasool Allah nara risalat ya Rasool Allah Hazrat Khwaja Gunnun al Misri radiallahu ta'ala anhu from the pious predecessors. If you don't take anything from today's bayan, take this one statement. They said that live in this dunya. Kya? Live in this dunya, but don't let the dunya live in you. Stop.